my zeal for anything. I wow. began to isolate myself a lot. I, I, I want to talk about that because other people are here and they're wondering, other people are watching online, you know, so you lost your zeal for everything. So you and you are a Hollywood star, an actress, so when you got like a job in the Hollywood, you were not interested again? Oh, yes, totally. I turned down a lot, a lot of jobs. You turned down jobs? I did. I did. Were you concerned with the fact that you were impoverishing yourself, impoverishing yourself or you didn't care? At that point, I really didn't care. Wow. At, at that point, I really you, you began to self sabotage your success. Totally. Wow. And I just felt there was really nothing to live for at some point. There was nothing to live for. Yeah. And I. You, was... you know, you know, Lydian is a big deal in the industry in Hollywood because some of you are hiding. And some of you stand said it's just for this person. Would you, if you ever see her, and that's why I say, the pressure does not have a face. People saw you and they thought you were perfect, right? Totally, yeah. And you always have to put up a front that everything is good. And everyone keeps, at that point, I got a lot of messages, people asking me, how did you do it? And I'm like, Psh. <laughs> Why she was depressed? People were asking her, how did she do it? Wow. What made you come out of this? I think it was um, after a friend of mine pulled me out of it. Did you see what I'm saying? Most of the time when people come out of depression, it's not all the time, there will be someone that is there that would hold them up emotionally. You know what I said that? If your friend is depressed, don't invite them. I say drag them because they will not be able to help themselves. And most of you, if, you, if you're depressed here, you must find a way to link with the pastors, link with the cell, get to someone. So I want to talk to Pastor Bolaji. Yes, I also want to talk to you, but you need someone that will be there every day. And that's not Pastor Bolaji. So, so this is your friend. What, what did this your friend do? Because I was actually on my way. At that particular day, I decided I was just going to up and leave. I totally had already... You're going started, to run away. I, was, I already started my plan to just... Wow relocate and just, you know, leave everything behind and who I was to just start off my life somewhere else in a different country entirely. I already started my first phase and I have actually been ignoring people. I didn't pick up calls. My family didn't even know my plan was to just elope. So notice now, the second sign of isolation, the second sign and cause of depression, isolation. I've said it before, isolation precedes destruction. So I was in the second phase of my um, Jack Bass scheme, and my friend did call me. And normally, I would not pick up the call, but I did. And the first question he said was, how are you? Can I say something to you? Yes. Not, not Lillian, say them to everybody. If you're depressed, if you can look carefully, you will see the signs that God is following you. I'm telling you. If you're depressed... The point is that you may not recognize or say it all, but if you look carefully, it's most of the time when you come out of the depression that you now look back and say, hey, whoa, so God was following me and I never realized. Because even when you're in danger to yourself, your shepherd follows you. That's what, the, that's what David understood when he says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. But you're not in me the way I know you as a shepherd. He said, thy rod and thy staff. I may not see the shepherd, but there's direction. There's someone saying, oh my God. When he says your rod and your staff, there's someone saying this way, this way. You want to injure yourself, but don't injure yourself beyond this point. Um, so your friend, your friend yes, came. Yes, he did. He was like, how are you? Because at that point, the internet was, they were going crazy. And he said he just wanted to check in to see if I was okay. And... I just started crying. I busted out crying and I just, for the first time, opened up to um, my friend and he says, no, um, you're not going to, I'm not going to give up on you, even if you had given up on yourself. That this is not who you are. This is the time to prove that you are more than this. Wow. You know, he went on and on. And, and when he began to say that, you thought, well, this guy doesn't understand what I'm going through. Absolutely. Yeah. He didn't understand, but I just decided to open up my heart and listen. For some funny reason, I don't know, maybe it was God that, you know, made me listen. It was God. I'm sure it was right now. I know it is God. It was God. Praise God. Yes. What would you say to someone that is in the place, in the dark place right now? Don't give up. 
just focus on God and trust him to do the, what's best for you because he did bring you into this world for a purpose. So you should find that purpose and dwell on it. Praise God.